Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for always supporting me. We are back. It's come round fast. Mom's the word. And I asked you guys on Instagram and let's see what you said. Let's let's just go straight in there. Like there's loads. Like I left this one a lot longer than the last one. Like the last one I only had up for like an hour. This one's been up a lot longer. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. My relationship has hit rock bottom for a while. We're not together, quotes, but he still acts the same. What to do? So if you're not together and he's saying we're not together, but then still trying to sleep with you, still trying to have everything bar the label, then in my eyes, if he's, if you know for a fact he's not going to want to be in a relationship, even like it's not even near, I would cut that off. I feel like you're wasting your time. Like you need to go find someone that doesn't care if it's a, like that doesn't care if you tell people you're together. If that makes sense, like is he are, is he your or each other's secrets? Like, do you not want people to know? Is it public? Like, I'm one of them. If we're not together, like obviously you have the scene each other stage, which is fine, but. If I'm like a couple of months, weeks down the line and you are not giving me anything where I think we're going to be in a relationship, then I don't personally think that I would want to waste my time, if that makes sense, when... I don't know, I'm one of them. If the person you see in is like, not obsessed with you, but like, wants to talk about you, tells his mates he's seeing you, like, that's what you kind of expect because then it's like, if you're not telling people, why? Who do you not want to know? That would be my advice. I would say, sit him down. If he doesn't want to commit, cut it off. Trying for a baby, but actually scared to get pregnant and have a baby. I think this is more common than we think. Like, I know couples that are trying, but, like, are just so frightened of actually it happening. I think there's never a right or wrong time to have a baby. That's what I believe. I don't believe that there's any point in your life. Like there's things where you kind of feel like, it's not that it's not the right time, but you just feel like you're not in a comfortable position, if that makes sense, but you can make it work. And like, I made it work. Like, I do believe you can make it work. Like, babies are blessings. I just think there's not a right or wrong time, but like it is gonna, it's always scary. I think people that are desperate for children when they actually do fall pregnant, they are still scared. It's, it's an exciting, scared, nervous, all these emotions go through you, especially if you haven't had any children yet, you kind of don't know what to expect. And it, every day is a learning curve, you're still learning. I still learn with Marley, like, don't be scared. If this is what you want, then I really think enjoy it. And if it happens, which it, I'm positive it will, um, really enjoy it because I didn't enjoy my pregnancy and it, I really hate that. Like, I hate the fact that I don't really have any positive memories because I was so scared and nervous. That ruined it for me. So, yeah, I would say just chill, girl. It'll be okay. I found out I'm pregnant. The baby dad doesn't want any, invol any involvement. That makes me really sad. Like... I think it's his loss and obviously it will be your loss and your child's loss but it, it, the bigger picture is you will be a fantastic mom and give your child everything you possibly can and make sure they're happy and healthy he's missing out on all that he will want to run back when they get a bit older or even when they're born like trying to get involved I just feel like that happens a lot um obviously he might not but I just think do you even like I, I'm kind of one of them like I feel like if Jordan had turned around to me and said I don't want any involvement I'd have been like okay I'm not forcing you to be in this child's life like my child deserves better not to feel unwanted like you go do you I'll make sure that my child's happy and healthy I feel like are you like it's one of them you need to ask yourself like are you in a relationship have you been seeing each other long do you really care about him that much like, and just remind him that he will miss out. It's his loss in the bigger picture. I have friends that dads do not have any relationship with them and it really does devastate them. But at the same time, it's made them very strong people. Like some of the strongest friends I have actually um, kind of grew up without their dad in their lives. So I feel like it's one of them. It is it's the bigger picture. It is his loss. Like, you won't understand how amazing his child is. He won't see how beautiful his child is and see all these amazing milestones. Like, I just think, why? Why would you want to do that? Why would you not want to be in your child's life? It blows my mind. It's like, fair enough, some people don't want to have a baby and they're scared and frightened, which is fair enough. But if it's going to happen, like, you need to put your big boy pants on. You knew how to get into the bedroom. You took the pants off, put them back on and step up. That's what I kind of think. 
It's one of them, like, you're not asking him for a million things, you're just asking him to love his child. Like, is that a lot to ask? Because I know you, some people have their babies, obviously, and you don't get that instant love for them, which is fine. You learn to love because you've never... It's a very scary time to have a baby, but he will he will really regret it. Can't get my six-year-old to try new foods. Any tips? So, obviously, Marley's not six. He's only five, but he goes through stages where he's really fussy or the opposite where all he wants to do is eat i used i just trick all the time to be honest like i just put vegetables in everything and hide it like spag bowl pie like cottage pies um what else do i hide like stir fry obviously like i don't know a good way is just to hide it make it like put it in mash like hide it in the mash like i'm one of them i just try and try and hide everything and hope for the best he doesn't know it is. It's when he bites and finds out and like, if I've hit a broccoli and he's like, that's the only thing he doesn't really, isn't keen on is broccoli. And he'll be like, pull a face and I'll be like, oh no, he's found out. Make it into smiley faces, make it into fun things. Like I've done that before, made smiley faces out of the food. So it looks appealing to them. They're my only tips, hide it or make it look funny and cute. Marley also, I'm very good at saying, if you don't eat it, you won't get a dessert or an ice cream or a chocolate. And he loves his chocolate, so it's pretty easy for him to eat at the end. But it might just be a stage that like they might end up like growing out of it or like changing their mind. I think school definitely helps with them trying new things. Like Marley will eat things at school, but then not eat things at home that are the exact same. So sometimes I think they're playing us. So there is like 50 million of my weight loss and what I do and things like that, which they are so nice messages, so thank you so much. They're really lovely. Um, I'm definitely now starting to see a difference. Like, my clothes are feeling really well. Some jeans that didn't fit me now, but up, and I actually have room. But literally, it's what, like... So, I've obviously got my PT now, and that's just pushed me a little bit for, like, that, that extra bit that I do need, because I'm at a stage where I've hit a weight and I'm, my body's not really moving now. So, that's why I started back with my PT. Um, and I do, basically, a PT with her at her gym then i try and do two home workouts and then i run three days a week so i have one day where i don't so that is today actually um on a thursday i have college after work so there's just not enough time i'm too tired um but yeah i just think i used to be able to say i haven't got time but literally if you're sat watching telly that's what i try and tell myself like if i can have an hour of telly then i could have done at least half an hour workout or like go on youtube quick workout video or you can join alicia's training she does so if you're not local to me she actually just has online coaching which is incredible it has all great foods different um workout videos fast ones long ones like there's loads in there and that's definitely helping me but yeah it's one of them you have to find the time and it might not feel great at first because it's killing you i always think it used to really hurt and like like i'd be running i'd be like but now I'm at a point where I've passed that my body's getting fitter and healthier that it's more enjoyable because after you're done you feel great and you start to see a difference so yeah and don't I don't eat crystal chocolate I've cut them out of my diet basically altogether like I did buy some Aldi Pom Bears which are low calories and fats or something to just have as a lunch snack um and yeah I don't eat much chocolate anyway unless it's on a protein bar now because I'm trying to hire my protein um no fizzy drinks like full fat no way i don't drink them all i think it's about like alicia's um helping me through what i should eat good snacks and stuff so i would say maybe get a plan set like i normally have my whole meal for the day planned so yeah i think i'm just in a good routine and that's key um obviously if i'm at work all day i'll do it in the evening like sometimes even if i'm shattered i'm like just do a quick 20 minute workout like, it's silly o'clock at night, but I'm thinking, I know, I'll feel better for it. I'd easily go to bed and sit and watch telly for 20 minutes, so it's kind of one of them. I kind of, the overweight for me. That's what I've got my mindset. It's about, yeah, I've kind of, without sounding ridiculous, I've trained my mindset to know that it makes me better, it makes me feel better. Because it's not even about losing weight, it's about being healthier for me. Like, I just want to be healthier. Yeah, so... They were my tips. Started a new job. Any advice? I was so nervous when I start new jobs. Like, I can't even lie. Like, every time I start a new job, I'm so nervous. But I just think you need to go in there, be confident, show how amazing you are. Like, I'm one of them. Like, don't be quiet. Don't be like... Duh. Like, just try and be helpful. Never just stand around doing nothing. That was one of my things when I worked at Mum's Poppers. I always made sure I was doing something. Um, I always think you kind of want to stand out, so just do a little bit extra. Depends on your job, isn't it? Like, 
all jobs are different but i would say just just know that they gave you the job for a reason so they obviously see something in you so yeah show your confidence do well do you and you'll be absolutely fine i'm self-conscious over my nose to the point i can't take pictures i can't have my picture taken how can i get how can i overcome it god i can't even talk then i just looked at you you are absolutely beautiful please don't feel like that that makes me so sad like I feel like we all have things that we're a bit conscious about, aren't we? I used to have a friend that literally still to this day, love her to bits, I'm actually seeing her for a coffee today. We used to say about her nose, and I'd be like, there's nothing actually wrong with your nose. Like, but I think it doesn't matter how many times someone tells you, if it's something that bothers you, I think it's all about self-love again. Like, I kind of think, screw what anyone else thinks. Like, every time I put a photo on, someone tells me I Photoshop it. Doesn't matter, whatever I do, like even without like without like putting the brightness up on the Instagram bit, like anything I do, someone will say there's something wrong with it. I've done this, I've done that. So kind of screw what anyone else things, see your true beauty, because I, I don't I, I really do think you're really, really pretty and I wouldn't worry. Like I think we we tell ourselves it's us but we only don't do it because we're bothered about what other people will see us like, whereas we shouldn't. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up, comment, any ideas below. If you have any questions or dilemmas, put them in the comments too. And as always, subscribe, because as soon as I hit 50K, I've got the biggest giveaway to give you guys. So yes, thank you so much for always supporting me.